smoke on the boulevard. Oh my goodness sake. Oh, it's ice cold. Look at this, guys. It literally says Hell's Kitchen. Let's get it. We are at Hell's Kitchen in Las Vegas. We are going to do the prefix menu for $96. You get three courses. We're going to choose the pan seared scallops, and then you get the beef wellington and the sticky toffee pudding. The beef wellington automatically comes in medium rare. And we are going to get some cocktails. We are going to get the smoke on the boulevard for $23 and the notes from Gordon for $22. This place looks insanely cool. And it's absolutely packed. Gordon Ramsay is getting bank off of this. This is the notes from Gordon, and apparently there's a special message from Gordon Ramsay on top. That is strong. Yep, this drink is extremely strong, okay? It really does have a smoky taste to it. Like, it really does feel like I'm at a campfire. And one of these is probably more than enough for me, okay? Like. This is a lot to take in. It has a little bit of a sour taste to it, but it does have a tiny little tinge of sweetness at the same time. Overall, really delicious. $22, a lot of money, but I will give it 8.7 out of 10. Now the notes from Gordon. Okay, let's see what this note he has for us is. Like, I'm, what, what does Gordon want to say? Your lamb? Your lamb is so undercooked. It's following Mary to school. Gordon Ramsay, what? What? How dare he talk about my lamb that way? It's raw. Okay, that was worth the $21, okay? I don't even care. But yeah, look at this. It's actually, this is like a cherry. They put like a cherry on this thing. That's pretty cool. Well, anyway, let's see if this drink is good or not. This drink is nowhere near as strong as the previous one. However, it still is pretty strong. It has a very great citrusy taste to it. It's not acidic or nothing, but it feels very refreshing. It's not sour. It's actually really sweet. Also, it's ice cold. Overall, I really like this. 8.8 .8 out of 10. Now for the seared scallops. You get five of them. And this plate looks absolutely beautiful. Hell's Kitchen, more like Heaven's Kitchen. This is literally angelic. Melts in the mouth. So good. It's warm. It's soft. And the corn puree on the sauce on top, oh my goodness, it, it's a great pairing. You only get five of them. However, I'm going to enjoy these five very much. They taste amazing. I'm going to give them a 9.6. Here is the medium rare beef wellington. What can I say? It looks fire. That meat is very juicy, seasoned amazing, tender. Now this bread shell wrapped around the beef wellington, my goodness, okay. So it's buttered and seasoned to perfection, okay. It's soft. This is some of the best bread I've ever had. Also, there's mushrooms between the bread and the beef. Yeah, there is no grease, only flavor. Oh, let's talk about these add-ons. We got mashed potatoes, carrots, which were very thick, by the way. These are the best mashed potatoes I have ever had. There's so much flavor involved. It really is the creamiest, most delicate, like it just, it's so graceful. It's like a kiss from an angel. It's literally, my God, I don't even know what I, I don't even know what to say. It's so good. I'm speechless, 9.9. .9. That was a water chestnut, very vibrant, very interesting. It just, it packed full of flavor. It, it feels like you literally dug it out of a swamp. Yeah, I don't, I, it's not really for me, but I can tell that it is pretty high quality. I give it a six out of 10. Carrots, yep, juicy, soft, tender, perfection. I give those a 9.6. As a whole, this dish is one of the best things I've ever had in my life. I love it. I'm giving this meal a 9.7 out of 10. Here is the sticky toffee pudding. This thing has a pretty good size to it, but the cut right in and look at that, it just cuts in like butter. Let me tell you something right now. When I ate that thing, it started off pretty good, but after like a couple seconds, 
That thing just gripped my soul and it would not let go. It just, my goodness, like, it just grabbed onto my tongue. So much flavor, insane. Packs a warm, hot punch with the ice cold ice cream. My goodness, it's, it's amazing. Is it sticky? No, but it sticks to your mouth with flavor. So, yeah, I guess it is. But this is literally one of the best desserts I've ever had. It's an ooey gooey molten mountain of madness. It feels like what mom used to make back home. This, I, I gotta give this a 9.9 .9 out of 10. And finally, it's not really that rich, so I can easily eat this all. Well, that was Hell's Kitchen. I ended up spending $180 there on that three course meal and the tip. So yeah, that's a good bit of money. However, I will say this, it, it's not really worth $180, but the food really was phenomenal. So yeah, all in all, Hell's Kitchen is Luke Foods approved.